Hey everybody, this is Squirrel with Easy Tarot Lessons and I'm here today with Sally. Hi Sally. Hi Squirrel, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Doing well, thanks. <laughs> and today we are continuing with our card meaning series. Today we're going to work on the Two of Wands. So we're just going to tell you our thoughts and some of our ideas. We're not going to give you traditional meanings. This is just a guideline on how you can look at the card and see what you see. So you want to start us off, Sally? Oh, sure. Um, I'm staring at the Two of Wands and it looks like in his hand the world is his oyster. Oh, yes. You know, he has everything in the palm of his hands. Um, it looks like he's puzzling out the future, like trying to make some decisions. Oh, maybe that's his crystal ball. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but he, he's there. He's lonely. He's kind of separated from everybody else as he's, as he's doing this. So, you know, kind of lonely at the top sort of guy. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and, you know, maybe he's Italian. Maybe he likes to pay, play bocce ball. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him doing that too. I can see <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, you stop never know laughing. They come in handy. <laughs> you never know. Hey, go get a new hobby, play some bocce ball. <laughs> I've, I'm right now, and not always, but right now, I'm kind of seeing him. He's surveying the land he owns. Yes. And he's trying to figure out how to get more. He wants to rule the world. Oh, yeah. 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 And he's making those plans on how to do it. I you know, love that crystal ball. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, he's sitting up there. He's so lonely and he's so serious, but there's this ball in his hand. It's like, you know, he's between wanting to conquer the world and wanting to party. And, and maybe he should go party. I mean, maybe he is just too serious and too alone and he needs to get out of this situation. But, you know, he, he's so ambitious. You know, he's surrounded by all this stuff. He, you know, he's got one of those wands. He wants them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does have that other one chained to the wall. Maybe he's mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to unchain it. <laughs> yeah, and, you know... It, Maybe he's finished that one project. Maybe that's why it's changed, chained to the wall and he's ready to move on to another project. You know, here he's got this loose, this loose wand. What is he going to do? What is he going to do with this thing? You know, he's already got that set. What's his next plan? What's, oh. what's he going to do the next time? Yeah, I see that. What about, um, hmm, I'm seeing growth on both of those wands. I think all of the wands have growth in them, though. Those, right. those little leaves that are coming on. Right. He reminds me of Christopher Columbus, like he's getting ready for his voyage. He's looking out there, you know, he's he's planning his conquest of the new world. Yeah, and there's the little Bay Area that he'll be mm -hmm. moving out of. Mm-hmm. And I've never seen this before. It, seriously, I've never seen this before. I'm looking at the background of this card, and those mountains in the background, at least on the card I'm looking at, are purple. So it's like purple mountains majesty. majesty. You know? <laughs> He is in Europe, and he is going to conquer the new world. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so this could be a super great entrepreneur card. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. He, he definitely, it, it's inquisitive. It's explorative. You know, this this is an idea, man, that, that, that red hat up there just says, oh, I'll um, all of my information is stuck up here in my head. I have more ideas than I know what to do with. So he's got to get started on them. Now, one of the traditional meanings, and I say one of them, because every single book you look at, they're going to have, they're all going to have a different meaning. And that's where it gets so confusing. It's like, ah, which meaning is it? And, and the beauty of it is it could be all of them, depending on the context of the reading, not all of them at once, of course, but you've got to be able to have that fluidity of thought. You don't, you don't want to get stuck in the rut. But Absolutely, yeah. One of the traditional meanings is planning, the planning process. Oh, sure, yeah. You know, um, I have seen people get stuck in that because it does look like so much like he's planning on how to take over the world. Sure. 
but it could just be a, a moment of contemplation, a moment of being grateful for what you have. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. he's able to survey all of that land. He's obviously in a good position. He's, I don't believe he's a guard. He's too well dressed. Right. And he doesn't look like the gardener either, does he? Mm -hmm. Not quite. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he comes across as the master of his domain. What does Dusty say? He 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 went all the way to the top of the tower to get away from the wife and the kids. <laughs> well, it does look like he has a traveling cloak on because he has you know a tunic underneath and all of that, and then there's this big cloak, and it looks like a traveling cloak. This is a guy who who doesn't like to be a stay at home dad, or you know he he, he likes to go out, he likes to explore. He you know don't leave this guy at home because he hates staying at home. Yet wow. home is where he seems to be. That makes me think he's Sagittarius. Oh, absolutely. Very, very Sagittarius energy there. So, what about a reversal? What would you say? Ooh. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> to, to use your, the making of plans, yeah, those, those plans aren't, aren't happening. Uh, he is trapped right where he is, you know, his, his vision of the future just didn't come through, you know, it's clouded. He doesn't have clarity. Uh, he is going nowhere with the plan he has right now. As a, another Monty Python reference, I do apologize, but the life of Brian, <laughs> when Brian gets taken by the Roman guards in, in his little um, people's front of Judea, the, the girl runs in and tells them Brian's been taken, and they were like, you've got to do something. And they're like, we are doing something. We're planning. <laughs> <laughs> And they, they missed the whole crucifixion because <laughs> they're sitting there planning. <laughs> you know, I didn't see this when it was right side up, but now that it's reversed, that, I'm, I'm going to call it a marble at this moment, this this marble in his hands, you know, this ball, this, this crystal ball is so close to his mouth. The, the phrase that jumped into my head was, they're going to make him eat his words. Oh. And again, it's something I... I I've never said that. I've never seen that before, but I'm seeing it right now as I'm, I'm just staring at this card. And that could be a really valid interpretation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And and for those of you listening in, I know you're getting confused sometimes as, as well as from the books. But if you sit with the cards, if you do the exercises in the white book by Dusty White, it's called The Easiest Way to Learn Tarot Ever, you'll start to understand these cards. They will have that fluidity to them. The exercises are building up your understanding of the cards and they're also building up your intuition. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. And not only that book, um, the study groups, just hearing what other people have to say about these cards put me light years ahead of where I was when I started. Oh, yeah. Because again, you can get stuck in that rut. You can get stuck in your own perspective, your own worldview. And when you can see what other people see through their eyes, through their words, it broadens your world perspective. It, it, it gives you so much more to draw on. And I think it's perfect that you use those words with this card because right, right side up, you know, you have perspective, you have broadened mind. That's what you're looking at. You know, you have an expanded worldview. That's what you're doing. And when you reverse it, you are narrowing that view. You're narrowing your options. I, I think this card just speaks to what you just said. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, see, you're just channeling the card. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm sitting here staring at it so hard my head might explode. Right? <laughs> Let's talk just for a moment about those groups and how to get into them. Okay. It's really easy. You go to easytarolessons.com or houseofwhite.net. The first month is a dollar. And right. Yeah, yeah. That first month, you get all the basics. You get how to read reversals, how to read court cards, how to read any card. And after that, it's what is it? Eleven dollars a week. Yeah, I think that's right. Eleven dollars a week, and the information just builds and builds and builds until ugh, you can just look at these cards, and it's easy peasy pudding pie. 
<laughs> I love how you say that. <laughs> so you've been a student for a while, correct? Yeah, I have been several years now. So, uh, yeah, when, <laughs> it's that's the beauty of it. It's it's a never ending quest for knowledge. Yeah, even today, seeing new things in a card I have stared at for literally decades. Mm -hmm. And it, it, there's always something new that pops out always. every single time. And it just, it gives you a better understanding of not only those cards, but ah, the, the whole world. He's mm -hmm. got the whole world. <laughs> he does, it right is. there. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on and on about him. He just, he really and truly speaks to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree with that. Uh, it, it's it's definitely a card that when it comes up, I, I don't have any difficulty reading this particular card. There are cards that I find more, that are more difficult than others, and we're probably going to talk about those at some point in time. Oh, we are. We but are. But I, I love this card, and I love this card to, to come up in in all kinds of situations. It's yeah, just... okay. Let's, 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 let's look at it for a minute. Okay. Um, Planning doesn't always come into a situation, you know, no, I'm no. talking about that traditional, this is planning. Right. What about if I came to you and I were asking about, uh, give me a scenario. <laughs> uh, you want to see a movie this weekend. What should you see? Okay. How about that? What movie should <laughs> I watch this weekend? <laughs> the Adventures of Christopher Columbus. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, <laughs> <that> er. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yikes. I should watch a documentary. Yes, sure. On Christopher Columbus. On Christopher Columbus. See? I, <laughs> and, and these aren't obnoxious things. I, I threw that out to squirrel because she's asked me questions like this before <laughs> i put you through the ringer don't i <laughs> <laughs> but they work they actually do give you information like that if you use them like that it really does work <laughs> it, it really does if you know your cards and you know what they're saying to you you can read any question sure. and um one last thing i'd like to say here is um I, I've had some comments that I, I approach the cards quote unquote irreverently, mm. um, that they are a sacred tool of the universe. And I, I, I disagree. I do not have an irreverence for them. I have deep respect for the universe. I have deep respect for my tools. But life has a reverence as well and i would not be able to make it through life without a sense of humor the universe knows that and it's going to speak mm -hmm. to me with its sense of humor right right so, and just... i've had that happen too i mean sometimes it's funny uh the universe does have a sense of humor yeah. absolutely and it speaks to the tarot yes yes it does on that note uh just play with this card this week just dive into it ask him questions see what the heck he's doing um look at everything look at the tiny little bridge over on the right by the stick on the right mm -hmm. there's a little bridge over there you know mm -hmm. he's got a river on his land that's beautiful abundant land mm -hmm. it's got everything he needs yet he's still looking for yeah. broader yeah he wants more Take your time, get to know your cards, and have fun with them, by golly. Just because it's quote-unquote sacred doesn't mean you can't still have fun. And we make this stuff fun. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being here, Sally. Thank you, everybody, for Thanks listening. Thanks for having me. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.